After the Court of Appeals of La Plata in Argentina ratified the lifting of the prohibition to leave the country, 12 of the 19 crew members who were illegally detained for three months in Argentina are now back in Venezuela. Our correspondent, Malin Garcia, with the details. The long-awaited moment has come. Hugs that should have never been interrupted, smiles, kisses, caresses. This is the reunion of the first 12 crew members of the M. Trasur plane with their loved ones. A forced separation they should have never experienced. They had been unjustly and unfoundedly singled out as alleged terrorists in Argentina. I feel very happy, satisfied to see him again. I am excited. These months have been very dark for us, and thank God we have my grandmother and now my mother. There are seven left crew members to be released, four Iranians and three Venezuelans. A part of us was left behind, but we hope soon they will be back with us. Much was said about us, but the only thing they did not say was the truth, that we are workers, pilots, flight attendants, load masters, that we went to work for our country and that we were called everything but what we are, good people, good citizens. There is nothing like being Venezuelan, my friend. Being Venezuelan is the best thing that can happen to us. Madi Museli is the only Iranian to have been released. He is watching his Venezuelan comrades, whom he was training during the flight, resuming their lives. But he does not forget about his friends unjustly held in Argentina, who have been stigmatized because of their nationality. He looks forward to what he will soon experience with his loved ones once he is back in his country. A very bad situation for me and my colleagues. I hope those left in Argentina may return as soon as possible, all of them the Venezuelan and the Iranians. And I hope that the aircraft will be returned. The journey back to their homeland started at the Ezeiza airport, where the whole story of lies began. This time, there was no media covering their departure, but they have concocted an alleged crime story which some media repeat over and over. They left behind their co-workers, but their release is the best proof that they were innocent in the first place. Soon they will be back together, taken to the skies again. Bolivia was on their return route. They split up into two groups. They were getting closer and closer. The whole case is based on geopolitical issues, and stereotyping people, I don't think that is the best way to go about it. And in Venezuela, they were received as heroes for withstanding the consequences of the illegal sanctions by the United States against Venezuela. The U.S. not only put together the case of alleged terrorism, but even requested the seizure of the plane. The judge gave 10 working days for an opinion to be issued. That was two days ago, so there are eight days left for the verdict, and we are absolutely sure that they will be acquitted. Defense lawyers in the case of the hijacking of the plane will go to the criminal cassation chamber to ask for the lifting of the seizure requested by Washington, and they will be pleading the case before the Argentinian government, for they consider that it is a geopolitical case, not a legal one. Madeline Garcia, Telesur, Estado de La Guaira, Venezuela.